Joy. And I'm John Paul, and we are the Civil Wars. Sundance 2012 is a big deal for us. Uh, last year we were playing a cafe, and then this year we've been a part of scoring a, a documentary called Finding North. So it's been a, a big change from last year to this year. And the things that have happened in that year, we didn't even dream that big, no. honestly. And we'd be lying if we said we had. The entire year has just been dotted with so many you know, bucket list moments. Getting to play the Ryman back in Nashville and getting to do Prairie Home Companion and then, you know, the Grammys. And touring with Adele no and, yeah, scoring films, it's been, we're, it's been we're crazy. We're dead serious. We're honestly, we're just like, it hasn't really sunk in. The way we got involved with this documentary is basically T-Bone Burnett. T-Bone, as most people probably know, is a living legend producer and nominated for about everything that you can be nominated for. He said, I've got a lot of projects, I love what you do, we should work together. And we didn't hesitate <laughs> in saying we agree. And uh, this is one of the first things that he contacted us about. So we wrote Finding North. And they ended up using our song title as the name of the documentary. They put up a screen and we were watching the documentary and playing Just along. playing with it. And uh, next thing you knew, it was uh, a collaboration between the two of us for the entire soundtrack. We could not have been more stoked about it. Finding North, the documentary, is really about hunger in America, but it goes much deeper than that. 44 million people um, go to bed hungry every day in America and don't know where their next meal is coming from. And so it highlights food insecurities in the United States, which basically means food deserts where people literally don't have access to fresh fruits and vegetables. It definitely puts a face to this what I would consider an epidemic of what's happening in the United States. It's a documentary that also gives you just as much information about the issue itself, as well as the, the positive changes that can be made that are totally doable. So we're uh, behind it 100%. There's no reason, no It's been interesting in the last year we've been able to be a part of um, independent film as well as sort of uh, the big box office <laughs> films as well. And uh, this upcoming film that we were just a part of is The Hunger Games, based on a New York Times bestselling trilogy. That again was another move that T-Bone Burnett invited us to be a part of. We knew that he would have the best instincts about how to capture music from the future but yet based in Appalachia. and keep the darker, somber themes of the book in line with the music. And we make no bones about the fact that we are uh, probably more happy to play with the dark than the light. And there are bands out there that can work in the light and... Make you happy. Yeah, good for them. We're, <laughs> we're not that bad. <laughs> so uh, what we do, I think, honestly, you know, really works well with, the, with yeah. that idea. We had carte blanche to do whatever we wanted to do. And then a couple weeks later, uh, Taylor Swift actually texted and said, hey, are you in town? And we both happened to be in L.A., and she did as well, and she was writing with T-Bone that day and wanted us to come and be a part of her song. So we've uh, had more involvement in that movie than we thought that we would. I remember tears streaming down your face when I said I'll never let you go. We didn't want to make it so specific that as soon as you heard the song, you knew it was specific narrative. It was specifically about a certain relationship. And we tried to keep the edges just vague enough that it could be about any number of relationships in the book. That's how we write anyway. And that's how we always write, because yeah. if we make things completely specific, then the listener can't put themselves in the song. All they can do is say, okay, that's about his uh, issues with that instead of you know blurring the edges just enough that they can put themselves inside it so we tried to do that same thing Let's write a song for us. 
If we could collaborate with any director, I can or think of one. Dude, Coen Brothers, I would want. Uh, that would be way up on. Dude, the list. Wes Anderson. That would be way up there. <laughs> David Fincher. David Fincher, yes. Yeah. Um. We could do this all day. Oh yeah. We're How huge much time do we have? movie buffs. Yeah. I think one thing that's been really a very integral part of our band has been word of mouth. You know, we don't have the big machine behind us. We're, we really do have a patchwork quilt of amazingly passionate people that believe in what we do. From the very onset, we didn't want anybody to feel like this music was being shoved down their throats or like with jazz hands <laughs> in, in people getting to know our music. And it's been a really exciting thing to watch the groundswell happen um, in a really natural way. Um, through people just being generous with, hey, have you heard this music? That's the biggest gift that you can give independent artists. I guess any any artist of any kind, really. It's an amazing world that we live in now, that you're able to take music and, and have it accessible anywhere you go. I think it's just, it's a beautiful thing that we're more than happy to be a part of, and it makes perfect sense with our model of how we do things is that we're always accessible via social networks but you know like with Google Music that you know you can you can get to our music anywhere you want and you have to and that's the way the world works now there's no sense sitting around and trying to make things work with the old model even 10 years ago the career path of the civil wars would have taken you know, at least five times as long. The idea that people can instantly access our music and then always have it available from any, you know, any of their devices, from their computer, from their Android phone or yeah. whatever, it's, I still don't completely have my head wrapped around it, but it's a beautiful thing, especially yeah. for DIY artists like us. Yes, you the only John Paul's big thing is you, we know that we've made it when uh, you type in the Civil Wars in Google and we're the first thing that pops up. Yes, or so. even the Civil War and we come up first. <laughs> That's I've, where we're, we the, want to be. Let's just keep on dreaming.